Well, hello Scrappers, Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. What's going on today? Well, today I want to talk to you about nitric acid, okay? Um, if you're watching my channel or a lot of other refiners' channels, you know how useful nitric acid is. Recovery of silver, recovery of gold, um, refining of silver, gold, and other precious metals. It's really useful. You can get away with poor man's nitric a lot of the time, but sometimes you need the good stuff. There's just no way around it. Now, if you watch my channel for any length of time, you know I have videos on how to make your own nitric acid, which is a great money saver for the small-scale refiner or somebody just starting out. You know, it, it's it's really great. And I'll put a link to one of those videos in the upper right. You can buy the equipment once and make nitric acid with it forever. The ingredients are not terribly expensive. If you can get them, I know some parts of the world it's hard to do. Here in the U.S., it's dead easy and not terribly expensive to buy the ingredients to make your own nitric acid. I love doing that. Um, like I say, it's a great uh, money saver, but there's a problem. It also takes time. And right now, I am so buried in work for my friend Johnny and other stuff that I don't have time to set up my nitric acid distillation apparatus and make all my nitric acid I need. Plus, I need a lot of it. In fact, in anticipation of all the work I was going to be doing for Johnny, I bought six liters of this JSP nitric acid. It's good nitric acid. Nothing wrong with it. It's uh, the 68% uh, azeotrope. Good strong nitric acid. Good pure nitric acid. I love it. Um, I was buying it from an outfit called Zelexo, and I bought from them before. And their prices were pretty reasonable, like mid-20s to high-20s for a two-liter bottle of nitric acid like this. And you could get a better deal if you bought more. I bought six. And um, that worked out pretty well. But I've gone through a lot of it working on stuff for Johnny and some of my other projects around here. So I was looking around to buy some more nitric acid. And surprise, surprise, Alexo doesn't sell it anymore. I don't know why. It's like they've discontinued almost all the chemicals they sell, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, I was sort of groping around looking for alternatives. I found other people who sell this JXP nitric acid in liter and half liter bottles. So, you know, the price is not as good as Zalexo's was, but it's out there. It's available. Later in this video, I'll show you some places you can get it. And I'll tell you why later in the video, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But anyway, I guess I've hit the big time as a refiner because I'm buying nitric acid now in bulk. So I, like I said, I bought six liters of this a while ago and I've gone through four and a half of them. So I'm like, I better get some more nitric acid before I use all this up and I can continue working on projects. So I'm, I'm groping around looking for a good source with a decent price. And, well, my buddy Jim tells me, hey, I found a good place for nitric acid because I need a lot of it for my projects out here. Let me share this with you. So credit where credit is due. This is uh, Jim's solution to the nitric acid problem. And like I said, I guess I've hit the big time because <laughs> I bought a lot of it. But at a really good price, okay? There should be 10 liters of nitric acid in here. I haven't opened the case yet. It just arrived yesterday afternoon. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. But there should be 10 liters of nitric acid in here in glass bottles. And guess what? I paid less than $20 a liter for it. You buy in bulk, you can get good prices. Let me tell you, if you need a lot of nitric acid and you can handle it in 55-gallon drums, the price per liter is really low, but that's a lot of nitric acid, and the odds I could use it up before it goes bad is slim. So, you know, I'm going to probably stick to buying it 10 liters at a time for at least for a while. Anyway, um, I got this from a company called Duda Diesel, and I'll show you um, the invoice on it and show you the price. The shipping was really reasonable too, considering it's hazardous materials. Yeah, uh, eight, like 18 bucks for shipping. But I'll show you the invoice and uh, show you what this all cost me. All 
All right, so let me try and get this thing open and we'll look at what I bought here. Yeah, my buddy Jim is doing some big time silver and gold refining out of his place in Arizona. And uh, he's needed a lot of nitric acid. I mean, a lot of nitric acid. So he was looking around for a good bulk deal on it too. And he found this due to diesel stuff. Now I knew Duda sold nitric acid. I just never bought any from him. Because I wasn't looking at buying huge bulk amounts of it. Their price for like a liter of it is not great. But for 10 liters of it, that's a different story. Yeah, look at this. Got uh, PVC coated glass bottles of nitric acid. Due to energy, nitric acid, industrial grade, 67.2% purity. I don't know if that's going to come through on the video, but that's what we got there. All righty. And I've got a lot of these little nitric acid container empties left over, so I don't have to try and work out of these big two and a half liter bottles. Um, what I can do instead is I can refill as needed some of these uh, small empties and work out of them over here at the lab and keep this back in the, in the warehouse there, in the, in the workshop, uh, covered up so that light and heat doesn't degrade the acid. Plus, you know, they're glass bottles, so keeping them in the, uh, in the styrofoam is probably good just so there's no accidents happening. I don't need two and a half liters of nitric acid leaking out inside my workshop. So, yeah. All right. So I'm pretty happy to get this stuff. Um, so why am I going to tell you where you can get some of this stuff? Well, I know not everybody needs 10 liters of nitric acid. You know, a lot of small refiners, people just starting out, you might need just a liter. You might need half a liter. Okay, so... I'm going to show you some places where you can still buy this JSP stuff. The price is not as good. I mean, the more you buy, the better the deal per liter. So the price is not going to be great. But if you don't feel like making your own acid using my process, highly recommend it if you don't need a lot of acid. Uh, or you don't have the wherewithal to do it. Uh, or you need the acid in a hurry. I'll show you a few websites where you can uh, pick this stuff up still and... Uh, you know, in smaller quantities than 10 liters at a time. Okay, well, that's great. This, this, is, this was super easy. Um, the ordering process was super easy. Uh, Shipping was not terribly expensive considering it's a highly hazardous material. And the FedEx guy showed up yesterday and handed it to me. The shipping was reasonably quick. I was not expecting to get it so fast. So really, I highly recommend due to energy or due to diesel. They go by a couple of different names. I'll put a link to their uh, website in the video description. I don't get anything out of it. I don't have an affiliate marketing you know, relationship with them. I'm just doing this as an aid to the refining community. If you need nitric acid, you need it in bulk, this is a place where you can get it in bulk, quick, easy, lot, not a lot of hassles, and at a really good price. So check out that link down there if you need nitric acid. I'll put links to um, the smaller nitric acid uh, sellers too, just in case you don't need 10 liters and you just need a liter or a half a liter of nitric acid. I'll put links to all that down there too. And as well as links to all the stuff you need to make your own nitric acid. I mean, why not? You know, give it a shot. It's it's fun and it's profitable if you don't need acid in huge quantities. I, I could set up a dedicated acid plant, I suppose, and run it 24-7. But then when am I going to have time to uh, do all the stuff I need the acid for? So that's why I'm buying it. So, But, you know, if you've got a little more time, don't need so much acid, look into making your own. I couldn't be much happier with this purchase and the delivery and everything just went great. Uh, if you guys are happy with this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see all my future videos. You'll see all this stuff getting used up eventually, and I'll probably be ordering more.
So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.